Hello, my name is uh, Brett, and I am going to try to run a test, speed test essentially, to see which one of my computers can run a video conversion program that I like quite a bit. It's called AVS Video Converter. It only costs, I think it was 20 or $30, maybe as much as 40 but uh, it's been well worth it. I have an Apetech camera that creates high definition video. It's a little handheld camera. I'm actually using it for this demonstration. I'm not doing a screencast. It creates a video in a .mov format and when I try and edit that in Sony Vegas, the sound audio doesn't come through. There's something about the Ape Tech that generates audio file that isn't compatible with Sony Vegas. And I blame Ape Tech and Sony both for that, for not being able to work together. I want to transform this video that I have in MOV format to .avi. I want to see which of my computers can do this the fastest. I'm going to do a speed test. I'm actually going to hit convert at the same time with both machines and see which one finishes first. And get started right now and hit convert. Uh, they both have 7200 RPM hard drives. And on the computer on the right, the source file is here, and it's writing to the, the new file here. And with the computer on the left, uh, same thing. Source file is on this computer, and it's writing to the hard drive here. The computer on the left has 3 gigs of RAM, and the computer on the right has 4 gigs of RAM. So I'm showing bars of progress with the computer on the left that's further along. We're at 42% here and 29% on the computer on the right. The computer on the right is about two years old. I work here on a, a dock in the lake. Lots of visitors, geese, and things like that. I've got a high top bar for a desk. It's a great little working environment. A little breezy here today. I like to use my larger laptop for video these days. It used to be my primary computer, and I like to use my smaller laptop for writing and for uh, when I'm on the road, for obvious reasons. It's uh, got five hours of battery life and and weighs five pounds versus this monster, which has about 50 minutes of battery life and weighs more than six. And that doesn't count the uh, the weight of that gizmo. I wish they'd learn how to make those lighter. We're still processing through. We're at about two minutes, ten seconds. Computer on the left, two minutes, five seconds. Lapse time here. Estimated time remaining on this one of 15 seconds. Estimated time remaining on this one, a minute and 40. So this is at 93%. So it would appear that my smaller, newer, faster machine is going faster than the machine on the right. The machine on the right's not doing too bad for being two years old. It, ha by the way, has an Intel Centrino Duo, and this has an Intel Core 2 Duo. And we finished on the left, and we're still at 70% on the right. There you have it. That kind of gives you an example of the speed of the faster, newer machine. And this tool, AVS uh, Video Converter, come to uh, my website at top 10 Tech. Dot com, the web tips section, and uh, you can find a link to the free trial download for this if you want to give it a try yourself. Uh, I originally got it because I have a mini DVD uh, video camera. This has the capability of converting .vro files into AVI or WMV, Windows Media Video, or .mov or .mpeg or a number of different uh, options. Give you a closer up uh, view of this number of different options that uh, you have with this converter but I got it originally for that mini uh, DVD camera so that I could convert with it and it saved me about two hundred dollars I could have gotten a video camera that came with that software automatically or I could save two hundred bucks by this uh, program and do the same thing. We've just finished up with file on the right. There you have it.